All right, thanks. I'm going to share my screen. <clears throat> so we thought it'd be a good idea to give you guys a little bit of a toolkit to um, take home some tips and tricks, things, quick things to jot down to help you make your job easier as the county secretary. Um, the first tips, tricks, toolkits we have are these two handbooks. And this first one is uh, the Board Essentials Toolkit provided by the American Farm Bureau through the Farm Bureau University platform. Um, the other one is the County Farm Bureau Leadership Handbook that was created by Montana Farm Bureau. They both have a little bit different things in them, but they have a lot of the same things in them. Uh, so I'm going to start with the Farm Bureau University Board Essentials Toolkit. And I guess I should back up and say that this um, handbook is available from the office. We have a few um, on hand at the office and also it's available virtually. Um, we can get you the links for that. And the cool thing about having it on your computer is it's a really big document, but it does have quick links within like the table of contents and things like that. So you can say, oh, I wanna look at these forms of government governance or a policy development form or something specific. And you can click through those subheadings to get to what you're actually looking for instead of thumbing through it. So um, this Board Essentials Toolkit has things that would pertain to you specifically as a secretary are record sheets or templates for minutes and agendas, kind of like um, Diana was talking about earlier, how she could provide you with a template for an agenda that you could use to create your minutes from. There, there are some examples in there of that. Other key documents like um, forms to help to assist you with creation of your bylaws and um, policies. There's policy development, a template to help you when it comes time to doing that. And then the other subheadings within that handbook are um, tips on planning, building committees, um, advocacy and policy development piece, which is really important for our organization, and then a good chunk on volunteer engagement. There's a really good list in there on uh, something that they call micro volunteering um, and ways to um, show appreciation to volunteers and things like that. The Monta Montana Farm Bureau County Leader Handbook has our due structure like uh, Sue Ann kind of showed you in her PowerPoint. Duties of officers, which is also in the American Farm Bureau Handbook. Um, county Program of Work Example. That's a really good one that follows a calendar year. Um, and if you've seen this before, you know what I'm talking about, but it kind of gives you an idea of, you know, it's January. What are some of the things that a good county farm bureau is working on in January? And what should we be prepared for as we move into the summer months, etc.? cetera? Um, parliamentary procedure tips and some things that you would be frequently seeing or experiencing in your meetings. Um, specific Montana Farm Bureau programs. So talks a little bit about YFNR, um, women's leadership and those programs. And then forms and reports that you might see as a county secretary or for the county board. So like I said, the, the job description is within both of those handbooks, but just you know to let you guys know, especially those of you that are newbies, um, your job is to maintain the, count, the official records of the County Farm Bureau. And so you report to the president and the board in that instance, and um, you have the authority to review any and all documents of the county organization. So it's a big job, um, very important job, and we're glad that you guys have it. So um, there's just a quick list of your responsibilities. This is something that we can provide you. I can print it out or I can show you where it's at within that virtual document if you would like a copy of it. I might be speeding through this too fast. So just let me know if anybody has a question. Um, I'm trying to make it bigger so I can see your faces. There we go. I did provide a list of apps or programs to help you in your role as a county secretary. So the first one is a design website or app, and some of you might be familiar with it, but it's called Canva and you can just access it through your web browser. Um, the RMs use this quite a bit when we're making your county postcards. So if there's any correspondence that you'd like to handle on your own, this is a great um, free uh, website for you to utilize for that. So I welcome you to check that out. Um, 
I used it personally for my wedding, save the dates. So it's a really fun application to just uh, use for whatever you want. Um, also, Google Photos is a really good sharing platform. You don't have to have a Google phone to do that. I downloaded Google Photos to my iPhone and it updates and keeps everything. So for instance, uh, when it comes time for us, like in a regular year, when we're dealing with convention and trying to put together PowerPoints, we all um, share our county annual meeting photos together through Google Photos. So that's a really um, quick and easy sharing storage space for that. Um, Correspondence and email service, in addition to our Atlas platform, if you're familiar with and would prefer to use, you, uh, MailChimp has a free option um, for that. And then of course the database like Scott showed us. Also use SurveyMonkey if you guys are interested in, in polling your members for whatever reason, that's an option. And then my favorite one lately is trying to figure out when we can all get together because we're all so dang busy how are we gonna get together for a board meeting or whatever? So um, there's two polling, op po polling options or websites that I've used frequently. And the one is when is good. It's super simple. You just highlight. You can also highlight as the maker of the survey, which times work best for you. And so um, you can kind of be picky with that or doodle poll. So um, those are really good for trying to get together for meetings or events. And then of course, Zoom, because we're all Zoom professionals and Zoom is a verb. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be using Zoom a lot less in the coming year, but it's there. And then I just would like to remind you that Montana Farm Bureau has two Zoom accounts um, that allow you to meet um, past the free 40 minutes that you might be used to if you just have a free account. So let your regional manager know if you'd like to use those. So the next uh, topic is making sure that your communication is efficient. So try to be consistent with your county board when it comes to group text, email, Facebook messenger, however is the best, or phone calls, I guess, too. However is the best way for you guys to communicate as a county board and stay in touch with us in the state office. Um, I've got quite a few counties that have a, just a running group text, and that's how we stay in the loop and how we find out when the next um, county meeting is and things like that. Another idea uh, that we suggest is to make sure that that agenda and minutes are uh, emailed out ahead of time. But in addition to that, in order to, um, you know, save on printing or, you know, you don't want to waste printing and everybody's got a smartphone with them at the table, you can email those out instead of having the print copies. So that's an option too. And then Diana mentioned it, but this is something that I do personally for a, a board that I'm on is create a template for your minutes or agenda. So, you know, resave last month's and then just fill in the blanks. And it really helps cut down on the time that it takes for you to recreate the minutes after every meeting. So hopefully that's a good idea for you. I like to do it. And then um, to keep in contact with your members, Consider creating a county newsletter or e-newsletter. That's an option, especially, you know, in today's virtual world, everybody's checking their email daily. So that's a great way to keep in touch with members, maybe not super regularly, but a couple times a year and it's free. And also if you've got a county Facebook page, um, manage that, or, you know, maybe it's not your role to manage that, but you think of things that are shareable. Uh, you know, Laura does a really great job of keeping ours up to date. So feel free to recycle and reshare everything from the Montana Farm Bureau Facebook page. Um, you know, our other organizations that we're close knit with, that'd be a great opportunity to share stuff from them as well. Now, um, let's talk about efficient county meetings. I hope if you guys have questions, you'll just raise your hand, but this is all pretty su super simple tips and tricks. Um, make sure that agenda is prepared ahead of time, your minutes and your treasurer's report. It just really saves time when everybody's sitting there at your meeting. Um, a scheduled start and ending time also helps, especially if you've got a super chatty group. I know that Carbon Stillwater counties and Megan, I don't know if Megan's still on here, but I think she would appreciate me saying that it really helps them keep their meetings to a minimum um, when we keep us a, a certain start and end time for that. So I'm reading the chat here. Joy, did you say, do I have examples of a budget? 
I let, I'll look in the toolkit, but yes. And I also think that Diana has that as well. And then when to me is a good one. Yes. I don't use that one as much. Oh my gosh. You guys are blowing up the chat. This is fun. Yes. We will share They're our part. I can that? read them to you. So you, I can read them to you so you can keep moving if you want. Yes. That'd be great. So you heard, um, we'll be happy to email out these PowerPoints, maybe to everyone who's on. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, also, Sue Ann answered, uh, Joy, that we'd be happy to share a sample budget. Actually, a lot of counties um, do, not a lot, but I mean, some counties do these and they are like Excel spreadsheets. So maybe it's something you want to talk with your peers about too. Um, and... Kyra says, do you have a set end time for your board meeting? Yes. Yep. <laughs> it is Some counties do. And they abide by that? Well, <laughs> give or take 20 minutes. <laughs> as John is famous for saying, the start time and end time need to be on the same day. Yes. I also think that that might come in handy, especially during annual meeting time. If you've got a guest speaker or all this stuff to try to get into your annual meeting, you know, your policy session, everything, it's, it's okay to set an end time. So just consider it, throw that, throw that at your county president for your next meeting see what happens. Um, all right. The next one is pretty tough for people, especially people like me to do, but I will say it's, really handy if you start delegating tasks. So, you know, maybe it's something small, you know, this person brings cookies to the next, we have an event coming up or annual meeting or whatever, things like that. So don't feel bad and try to get comfortable doing it if you're not with delegation. Um, prepare an annual program of work in a prepared budget. That just helps you throughout the year. Like Sue Ann was saying, if, it, if you have a prepared budget and you've passed it through your county board, it makes it super simple to make those decisions throughout the year. Um, also separate your regular and special meetings. So if you do have a speaker or a special event, uh, maybe that's something that needs to be set on its own as opposed to included with a board meeting or um, maybe your board meets separately just ahead of time or something like that so that you're not clouding up people's time too much. And, um, you know, they might have to come to town a separate time for those special meetings. But again, it's just all about efficiency with your time and making sure that those meetings aren't dragging on because you have the business end and then the entertainment or, or special event end of it. And then the other thing that I've tried to encourage my counties to start doing is include a back 40 or a parking lot or whatever kind of fun thing you want to call it. And this helps cut down on that um, discussion that kind of wastes time. So if there's, if somebody has an idea mid meeting that has nothing to do with the portion of the agenda that you're working on, um, have them write it down and bring it up at the very end of the meeting or um, just have a special time set aside to consider those things. You know, if it pertains to the conversation, I don't think that, that making and wait till the end would definitely have or, you know, be worthwhile. But if it's just an off the wall idea or some discussion that they'd like to have, um, give yourself some time set aside for that special discussion. And so I call it the back 40 or the parking lot or whatever. What have you? So Diana discussed your... Um, Ins and, out of, ins and outs of minutes at the beginning of this. So I'm gonna, I see that she's logged back in here. So catch me if I've got something on here that you don't particularly like, or if you have any other suggestions. Um, but like she said, when she was discussing it for things to include during, or when someone makes a motion, um, name of the maker may or not be something that you want to include, it just depends. Um, but make sure you state that motion in your minutes and the action that was taken. And then action items for the meeting, following the meeting, what needs to be done, by when and by whom, so that you have an accurate record of keeping track of those action items. And then remember that minutes are permanent records and they should be distributed to all group members within two weeks of the meeting. Um, it's important to kind of keep, keep current on those. Uh, it's fresh in your mind if you are writing them pretty soon after the meeting where you took them. 
and getting them out to everybody else prior to your next meeting. That was short and sweet. <laughs> Any questions? We are so glad you guys are all here. We are so glad you guys are all our county secretaries to work with because quite frankly, between the county secretaries and the county president, you are the, you are the faces of the counties that we see and, and talk to the most. And so um, we appreciate getting to work with you guys and make sure that your county programs are successful. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. We're done early. <laughs>